Hey y'all, Moses here. I just wanted to let you know that for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be running a giveaway. It's through Vast. It's for a G903 wireless flagship mouse and a G513 carbon keyboard. You can join in the link down below. There's a million different ways to enter. You get bonuses for doing all the different entries. And don't forget to check out my Facebook at facebook.com slash WTF Moses, where Papito and I will be waiting for you. Thank you guys. Enjoy today's video. So what armor should I be buying then to take into a raid like this? Like one where I'm like probably gonna die. Just go in with class two. You know, I think I agree. Watched your PC build with an intake fan near the exhaust. The intake air will be sucked right out again. And with all exhaust, you'll suffocate your GPU. I might put a fan then. Maybe two, maybe, maybe one or two fans on the bottom. I don't think it's, I don't think heat is going to be a, a, a big issue on the GPU. I might put one or two, I might put one or two fans right under the GPU then. Something to consider. I think you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I mean, just thinking of airflow, it is just naturally sucking air into the case, you know? I've never had any, I, I can't imagine a heat issue becoming a problem considering that the, the GPU is venting out the back as well. So um, I will probably put an intake fan on the bottom just because I, I think it would be good to suck some fresh air into the case rather than just have it be naturally aspirated, if you know what I mean. Mmm, that crunchy contact sound. I really don't think an intake fan is going to make or break the efficiency of my GPU, considering that it's a pretty efficient GPU already. Um, but it does make sense to have at least one more fan in there to pull to pull air from the room in the, into the case. So, Oh, you know what, though? I don't think I have any open fan headers. I would have to split it. Oh, okay, yeah, that just really decreased my chances of doing anything at all. Because we were we ran out of fan headers the first time. Because there's already six fans in there, three on the uh, three on the CPU fan header and uh, three on the chassis fan headers. Yeah, I, if I was gonna do water, I would have done it when I built the PC. I'm not gonna retroactively add water. One on the Why are we all freaking out already here? Where are you going, sir? Well, I made a shitload of noise over here. Yeah, I'm not going to take the time. This map stresses me out.
Avocado and top brand are the other two I gotta do. <laughs> yeah, the game is stressful for sure. I think I need an, inter an interchange pal. Where's Krupa do bat when you need him, dude? I feel like I want to crawl on the ground and move three inches an hour. No. The rule of thumb is if you ever hear a shot, it's a player. Either a player has been spotted by a scav and is getting shot at, it's a player shooting a scav, or it's a player scav shooting at players. It always means there's a player of some kind over to, over there. And anytime you hear automatic fire, you pretty much got to believe it's a, a PMC. Bosses might shoot scavs, but I mean, generally speaking. Where the F is avocado? Everything I want is on this floor, I believe. I need this... I think this game is a really good alternative to PUBG. Provides a lot of the same skill, but it's a little bit more closer to an MMO. Like, there's more stuff to do. Yeah, this game is brutal. Brutally difficult. But also quite rewarding when things go well. Here's top brand. I need to go in there. So I'm going to do that. I think that was a player kill. And he was looking for somebody else. avocado left now it gets you going dude it really does so texo is a pretty popular spot because of all the high value stuff that's in there but it's so hard to pick out what like player silhouettes and stuff There's freaking mannequins and shit everywhere. So we got a couple of corpses here. He was holding this angle. I'm not sure if he was looting or what. Or sorting out his inventory, maybe. This guy was geared. Geared. <laughs> Pog. I 
I think I just leave. Um, I'm going to take his Saiga as well. And I'm so slow at this. I'm so sorry, Chad. I'm sure it's bothering you. Just trying to be quiet. I don't think I can do any more nesting. I think it's just time to, time to roll. Okay, real quick. So we got power station, which is 3,000 rubles, and Emercom checkpoint, which is on the other side, I think, right? So. Yeah, Bobby Yaga, I'm, I'm with you, dude. I don't know where I'm going. Um, so do I go this way to get to the Emercom spot? That's the idea side. Go down the face to the corner. Emercom checkpoint. Yeah. The only thing that I'm really worried about is my armor is shit. So, like, I could get one tapped still. Well, I mean, I could get one tapped, like, from a scav. Which would be heartbreaking. So I got to go pretty far this way, yeah? I'm the noisiest person in the history of Tarkov. That's what it feels like in these situations. Shit. Peak anxiety right now, chat. Oh, I see him. Tango down. Go loot him. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Just fuck yourself. Kindly. Um, I don't know where to go exactly. Uh, like, is it in the far corner? Like, do I just go to the corner of the map? Straight ahead. Okay. America. America. That's a good raid right there. 
there are caches around. Yeah. Also, fuck yourself. <laughs> A nice raid, dude. Has some good XP there, too. So, I killed four scav. I think this guy was potentially a player scav, but I killed Tarkov PD. A little nice, nice little flank with the uh, SKS there. So we got uh, we got four scavs and a player who was kind of had a nice M4. Nice, nice, nice. And we also just now we just need to go avocado and, and killing scavs. Feels good there, dude. Got some loot as well. 